AY McDonald wants to ensure all safety requirements and steps are taken while troubleshooting your AY McDonald submersible pump motor. Please follow the necessary precautions. All electrical work must be performed by a qualified technician. Always follow the National Electrical Code as well as all local and state codes. Failure to do so may result in personal injury or equipment damage. Failure to follow manufacturer's installation instructions may result in electrical shock, fire hazard, personal injury, death, damage to equipment, and unsatisfactory performance. All power must be shut off to the motor prior to testing. Hello and welcome to this McDonald How-To. I am Paul Pettinger, the pump product manager here at AY McDonald. Today in this McDonald How-To, we are going to cover how to troubleshoot the AY McDonald submersible pump motor with the Mego meter. We will be checking the winding resistance on the AY McDonald 4 inch submersible motor for single phase 2 wire as well as single phase 3 wire motors. To check the winding resistance, first open the master breaker and disconnect all leads from the control box or pressure switch in order to avoid an electrical shock hazard and damage to the meter. Normally this test would be performed at the control box pressure switch or wellhead. For our testing today, we will be testing just the motor by itself. Today, we are using a Fluke 1507 insulation tester, also known as a Megometer. This could also be performed with a standard ohm meter. We plug one lead into the ohm setting and one lead into the common setting. We'll turn from the off position to the ohm reading. Today, we are testing the two wire and three wire, half horse, 230 volt motors. So we'll take each lead, connect it to the black, we'll push test, 3.9 ohms. We'll need to check with our IOM manual. Uh, for this particular one, it's page 17, half horse. We are at 3.7, plus or minus 15%. So we are within spec on the two wire, half horse, 230 volt motor. On the three wire motors, we'll measure the main winding resistance or run resistance, yellow to black, and the start resistance, yellow to red. The main resistance, yellow to black. Again, we'll push test, 3.81. We'll check in our IOM manual, uh, page 17, and we are at 3.9, uh, plus or minus 5%. We are within spec on this one. To check the start resistance, we'll leave it on the yellow and yellow to red. Push start, 15.11. Uh, check again with the manual, 15. We are within plus or minus 5%. On three phase motors, repeat the same testing, checking all leads. Measure the resistance of the yellow, red, and black, line to line for all three combinations. Again, check in your IOM manual, and this one is on page 17. What does this tell us? If the ohm values are all normal, the motor is not grounded. If any one of the leads displays an ohm value below normal, the motor is shorted. If any ohm value is greater than normal, the winding or cable is open. There is a poor cable joint or connection. If some of the ohm values are greater than normal and some are less, the leads are mixed. When testing at the control box, pressure switch, or wellhead, be sure to add resistance of your drop cable when checking the pump in the well. Now you know how to troubleshoot your AY McDonald submersible pump motor with a Mego meter and how to properly read the winding resistance in ohms for your motor. Still have questions? Give us a call at 1-800-AY-CARES. Stay connected with us on YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram.